Knowing when there is FUD and being able to distinguish between the FUD noise and what is actually happening in the cryptocurrency space, you should be subscribed right here to the Crypto Bliss channel. So thank you for being here with me once again. And let's delve right in today. Why is the crypto price down? Do not be taken for a fool. Yes, you do not be taken for a fool. Why is that? A weak US labor market, fear of a tech bubble and regulatory actions are factors behind Bitcoin's recent sell-off. Might I remind you that through all of the noise that Bitcoin's been going through, Bitcoin is still currently sitting right up here. Uh, since all of this noise all the way up here, we are sitting at 54K. So even though the US jobs data and fear of tech bubbles impact on Bitcoin price collapses the Bitcoin price against the US dollar at this current point, that is because we saw massive 2.2 trillion worth of outflows on the S&P 500. If you want to know more about that, go check this video out. I just released that video for you yesterday. And so you'll be able to go and check that out. I'll leave it pinned in the card above for you. Regulatory actions and fear sell off from the Bitcoin mining sector. The reading, look, look, listen here. Adding to the bearish tone is the recent negative ruling in Coinbase's attempt to dismiss a class action lawsuit bought by its shareholders. Now, the plaintiffs being the SEC, all right, this is misinformation and it is not very well said and thought out because Coinbase secures a partial victory over the SEC in the motion to compel the discovery. Paul Gruel, Coinbase's chief legal officer, said that the SEC would be compelled to produce important discovery in its civil case after a judge's order. So here is the order. There is the complaint, uh, the defendant and the plaintiff. And here is the letter. So to cut all of this nonsense short, you see how misrepresentation of language used in the space can create this fight and this noise that essentially bumps the market down, especially when you have larger institutions that is that make the noise. Now, Bitcoin miners net position change is increasing. OK, they are selling and taking some of their profits. Sell pressure from miners could build in short term, both macroeconomic factors and regulatory issues combined with the fear of minor sell off are contributing to the bearish sentiment surrounding Bitcoin. So it's the same nonsense, the same noise, the same rubbish that they've been talking about all the time. So this poses a very interesting angle for me. However, I want to bring this out is that the Ripple co-founder signs letter endorsing Harris for president. Previously, another form, former Ripple board member, Gene Sperling, left the White House to join Kamala Harris, 24 presidential campaign. Super interesting what the heck is going on out there. Now, should this be any reason for you to be afraid of your crypto portfolio? Even though, yes, we could continue to bleed right down to even this level here at 48, 49K. Once again, I doubt that's going to happen. And I'm going to show you why right now. Even though we're down over the last 24 hours, there is blood all over the live cryptocurrency heat map. We are struggling. I've spoken to so many of my mates today in the crypto space. Every single one of our crypto portfolios are absolutely bleeding. They're bleeding right now. The most important thing is, is if you do have any dry powder left at all, then you should be using my Bybit link down below and my Bitflex link down below and getting yourself on Bybit up to $30,000 deposit bonus and on Bitflex up to $88,888 bonus. Now with that, you can come and make sure that you position yourself if you watch this video for an incredibly powerful trade because could we be hitting the lows currently in Bitcoin? Yeah. We're not going to talk about that in this video, but I did talk about it in this video. So go check that one out. 
Next beautiful thing is, is that all the Bitcoin holdings by public companies is a total of 324,694 Bitcoin holdings. And the total value is 17.7 .7 billion US dollars and 1.64% of public companies Bitcoin dominance. This is 29 companies that own this. Now, MicroStrategy being the number one in the public company light. And is this everything? No, it isn't. But it is certainly the largest by at least a 100x. Okay. Hence, Marathon Digital comes in at about 100, at about a billion. Okay, sorry, 10x. About a billion. And so we can see here that currently MicroStrategy has about 12.3 billion invested into Bitcoin so far with 22,000, uh, 226,500, okay, Bitcoin. The very interesting thing that we need to know is that the ETFs, were, were there any selling pressure out of the ETFs? Was there any selling pressure out of the ETFs? Well, looking here, the one day change is three, 0.6% in some of these. So yes, I suppose they do go up and down. They do sell. It's not like they our shares of Bitcoin don't sell. People within them in the funds actually sell their Bitcoin and take profits. That is what it is. So of course, with a 2x Bitcoin ETF strategy, you can see that we're down 7% on this right now. That's bleeding right now. But what I want to say to you is that the total assets okay is far superseding any of the public companies in total i shares has more than all public all 29 public companies with a total of nearly uh, okay 20.7 billion okay grayscale with 13 billion fidelity with 10.1 billion and arc shares with 2.5 billion bitwise 2.1 billion pro shares 1.7 billion and van eck with 623 million Invesco with 445 million and Franklin Templeton with 377 thousand now isn't that very interesting okay so let's move on from here because if we come to Blockworks and we look at the Bitcoin total ETF tracker the 24 hour volume is only down by like 2.46 billion dollars this is not very much at all it's really only like three percent as we can see on the charts okay and the total market cap for all of the etfs is currently sitting at 70.56 billion dollars that is insane all of these etfs are running and you can see here that the 24 hour volume is 1.2 billion okay there is very much no negative outflows that happened in the last 24 hours and so I move on to looking at total BTC held in ETFs in terms of its total volume. Its total volume is increasing. BTC holding, however, is decreasing. So the holding volume is increasing and the ETF inflows versus price dynamics. Inflow change, zero inflow change. BTC price change, dip hard. Our shares has now in the last seven days had an estimated one uh, sorry zero percent you see here change in the last day zero percent zero percent assets under management 17.2 billion and so grayscale is not far behind it and so is fidelity but what i want to show you very much importantly so right now is the fact that the performance over the year on year for blackrock or its i shares has been about 8.8 percent .8 across the board on average you can see there all of this is on average because it's only been out for a few months not even a whole year but the last six months there was drawdown in this stock of about 25 percent which is correlating with the bitcoin iShares bitcoin trust chart and so we're in the same falling wage pattern that we are in with bitcoin and if you cannot see that these etfs have to trade at different price strategies and losses that's because of the retraction and if there is no selling it's okay but look at how much they buy on these down days so if it comes back down to this level you best be sure that they're going to be buying because this purple box showing some very strong signs of support zone and currently we're looking at a head and shoulder here too if we really have a much closer look by doing this 
that's the shoulder head and a shoulder that is currently forming so with that we should essentially be possibly breaking up breaking up on the eye shares okay at an estimated about there which takes us out of this triangle uh this falling wedge and pulls us back into a very wonderful energy there so that's all i want to say about that if you believe that this is not a for real scenario if you have not seen what i have seen go check this video out it is very important but do not lose faith because right now even though we've seen blood on the streets over the last six months you can see here most of these other uh investors okay these investment companies are outperforming even iShares fidelity and look at grayscale grayscale over the all time has made more than ten thousand percent on its return last 10 years 5800 last five years 222 percent so right now you can see here that they are making ridiculous gains and most of them are bigger than blackrock from a gains perspective but blackrock is certainly and undoubtedly the biggest holder of all of the coin thanks for watching thanks for being part of my channel make sure to subscribe share some love and show me what you think about this potential momentum are we just getting started in this cycle or could we be broken let me know down in the comments